Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and uh, we have an update for Windows 11 that was released late on Friday, still rolling out through the weekend. So today we are October 2nd, and uh, if you have moved on to Windows 11 22H2, you have a update that is available that fixes a whole bunch of problems and little things here and there that have been reported. It also changes a few things, including adding more dynamic content into the widgets. That means that basically what happens is that you can have not just the weather, but other things appear. For example, stock quotes, stuff like that, uh, if, you do, if you want to. So it adds a few things here and there, but mostly it's big, a big bunch of um, uh, fixes of all sorts of things from freezes to uh, enable to open PDF files uh, on the browser on Edge, uh, all sorts of little things like that, that are affecting the uh, Windows 11 22H2. So once you have updated to 22H2 and have that cumulative update that appears through the Windows updates, uh, you will see that your version of 22H2 will be moved to 22621.608. Some people have reported they're stuck at 607. There is still a cumulative update if you're not at 608 that you might see. So um, if you have moved on, this also fixes a few things that were blockers. So if you were a seeker, you went to Windows Update and you looked and you didn't see Windows 11 uh, 22H2 on your machine, well, maybe that will actually trigger it in the Windows Update and maybe you'll see that finally you have the uh, update available for you, but still only a small amount of people actually have 22H2 visible. So don't worry if you don't see it yet. There's no problem there. Your computer doesn't have a problem. It's not offered to everyone yet. I will also share in case of problems, the uh, Microsoft Update Catalog download. So you can actually install it manually if it fails. Uh, you'll see it's the first one here for X64 based system. The other one is for ARM. So on our standard PC, it's the first one here, 239 megabyte download. So you click the download and you can install it manually. I'll post a link to this in the description below. So first update and uh, mostly bug fixes, but a few little things that are also added in here. And um, we know that in October, more of uh, this is going to happen. So um, we'll have a few new features that will pop up here and there throughout the month of October for sure. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.